Okay class, we're going to be looking at bonds. I have a video already that talks about different types of bonds and the characteristics of bonds, so you may want to view that. Now we're going to be looking at uh, the straight line amortization of the bonds. Okay, so we're going to look at the, the discount and the premiums uh, on bonds and how we amortize, amortize those using the straight line method. So you've got to be very careful here because straight line method is used sometimes, but a, a very popular method is also the effective interest method. Now I have videos on that. There's, I do two separate videos because they're a lot more complicated, but they're used often and they make a lot of sense. So you may want to look at those videos if that's what you're doing in your class or for your business. Okay, so I have an effective interest rate method for uh, discounts, an effective interest rate for a premium also. Okay, but this is the straight line method. It's the easiest method to use, all right? So this here is uh, a bond selling at a discount, okay? So we're gonna owe, oh, I have this wrong. That's supposed to be 100,000. There we go, I have another zero. The bonds are going to be $100,000 bonds in the future, like four years from now. That's what we're going to uh, pay out. We're gonna pay out $100,000 for these bonds. But they're selling today at a discount, okay? So we're only gonna get in $92,233. So there's a discount of $6,077 on these bonds, okay? So uh, this is, takes place on January 1st. And then on December 31st of this year, uh, we're going to be uh, recording the interest, okay? Interest is paid out at 10%. These are four-year bonds. It's going to go on for four years, and our interest is going to be, now this is our contract rate interest, is going to be 10%, okay? So they're going to pay out $10,000. So then what we have here is we're going to have interest expense. I'm going to leave a space here, and I'm going to have cash. Cash is going to be paid out at $10,000 because these bonds, once again, are earning 10% of the $100,000, which is $10,000 cash. Now, we've got to use up this discount on the bond premium. We've got to use that up over the four years. So what I do is I just take the $6,077 divided by four, which gets us uh, $15,19 per year. Okay? $15,19 per year. So our discount on the bond premium, because we're going to use this up, I'm sorry, on the bond payable, we're going to use this up each year, is going to be 1519. Okay? We're going to, we, we need to get rid of this over the life of the bond. So that's why I divided this by four, because every year we're going to use this up. So now our interest expense each year will be 11519 Okay? Some people calculate it a little differently. I like to just take the, the discount and divide it by four. You could have also done this. Uh, the interest is going to be uh, four years of interest, so $40,000 plus the 46, the 40,000 plus the 6,077 uh, divided by four gets you 11,519. Okay? Okay, so you could calculate uh, what this is going to be also. Okay? I just like to do it based off of the premium, I, don't, I mean, off the discount. Uh, divided by four, and then that's what's going to be uh, credited here for my discount. My cash, I know what that's going to be, so then if I have these two figures, I know what the interest expense will be. Okay, So that's for a discount. Now, if the bond happens to sell at a premium, I mean it's going to sell over uh, the, the principal amount, the face value of the bonds. Okay, So in this example, I've got a premium, and it's going to sell for 106621 So my premium is 6621 and uh, my bonds payable, it's going to only pay out 100000 at the end, just like on this one, except people are willing to pay more for this one, okay? Because the, the contract rate, the standard or nominal rate, is more than the market rate, okay? All right, so then uh, our first journal entry, okay, so this is January 1st, if it sells for a premium, and then at the end of the year, uh, we're going to have bond interest expense, just like on the other one. You're going to leave a space here. Cash is always the same. The cash is the 10% of the 100,000. Okay, whatever the interest rate is, you're going to multiply that interest rate by the bonds payout. That's the cash amount that's going to go out. So we're going to credit cash. Now, what I'm going to do is I, I like to take the premium and the bonds payable, 6,621 divided by 4 gets me 1,655. So then my premium 
on bond payable, I'm abbreviating here, the premium on bond payable is going to be used up, it's going to use up $1,655 uh, $1, there. So now when you subtract these out, you'll get your uh, interest expense of $8,345. Uh, the textbook does it slightly different. Other people do it different. They may take uh, the uh, 40000 uh, This one's a little bit different than the than the um, discount. Uh, 40000 is the interest payment, the four interest payments times 10000 minus the 6621, that's the premium, which gets you 33379 Divided that by four would get you your 8345 Now, there may be slight rounding errors because I'm not using the going to the penny. Okay, but 8345 uh, so that's how you could get that also, the bond interest expense, because you're just using the average over the four years. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's it. So once again, um, I have a video on bonds that go over the characteristics of bonds. Uh, this is the straight line method. It's used, but um, a, a very uh, efficient and effective way is to use the effective interest rate. Okay, and I have two separate videos on that. Two separate videos for effective interest rate. One's effective interest rate for the premium. Another one's the effective interest rate for the discount. Okay, uh, they're, they're complicated, but, so you really have to think hard when you're doing those. Also, if you want to see other videos of mine, you can. My channel has um, all my videos. Um, Matt Fisher 64 is my YouTube channel. All right, thank you.